Hi everyone, this is a Psychic Sleuth, and um, today I'm going to be doing the validation on Savannah Spurlock. I'm so sorry that it took so long for me to get this done. Um, been going through, trying to figure things out, trying to see what validates. So I did this validation last night. I don't know, very confusing. I did notice, though, that I got information about her way back in Molly's. So if you guys go back and listen or are in the group and want to look at the files, um, uh, I'll show you exactly what I feel like belongs to her. So as well as some seem to come in, in, in Kenny as well. So I was, I was not the only one that got the RV park. It was also in her syntax in a matter of perception, which they have a good track record. And I went back and I... I checked after I did the reading because sometimes I like to validate myself if things seem a little weird and um, it validated and also I had um, my other friend that does syntax did it as well and she got that she was moved as well and, and a reference to water so um, I don't really know I'm not the only psychic that picked that up so there could be other reasons for that uh, could be someone else reaching out I'll go into that later but, um, basically the syntax did say she was moved. I feel like she was moved. I don't feel like she was at the Sparks house the whole time. I don't know the freezer or where he had her, but I feel like she would have, I don't want to be kind of gross, but I feel like he, she, people would have noticed her before that. Um, so water could signify freezer, I guess. Uh, the, the whole bridge thing could be very symbolic. I don't know. Um, I'll kind of explain that a little later. But uh, it could be how, how she felt. Um, however, like all this could have been symbolic. I don't know. But in case you don't know, though, they did used to live at that RV park. Or he used to live at that RV park. I don't know if they all did or if he just did. Um, so that could also be another reason as we get things that are connected to the people involved and whatnot. So let me go over some things. Um, I think fit with Molly's and Autorite back in the day. See, back then I was doing regular Autorites. It wasn't really like it is now where I'm a little more focused. It was like Delphi. I didn't know how my gifts worked back then. When I did that, I would pull in multiple cases. So everything I was thinking belonging to Molly wasn't. Uh, I know that now. And same thing with Delphi. Everything I thought pertained to the girls didn't. And I understand that now. So um, I would pull multiple cases and some in the future. So I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't totally understand how that works. But um, looking, looking forward now, I see what, where some of it was Savannah. So one thing I did get in Savannah's, or I'm mean, sorry, in Molly's, was the name David. So... <laughs> Uh, as we all know, the man's name that was arrested, which I do want to say that everybody is innocent until proven guilty. And the only reason I'm saying the name is because I got it in the reading. And we all know that he was already arrested, so, um, but he is innocent until proven guilty. You gotta say that. But anyways, I got that back in Molly's, uh, auto right. So you can go back and listen, go back and look in the group, whatever. I got it way back then. That was, I think, about a year ago or something that case came in. So, also got the name Alan in the first auto right of Delphi. Um, and also, when I was doing the reading on Savannah, I got an A multiple times, and I thought that it was going to match this case um, because it was the man that we were looking for when we were doing the auto right. It was the person we were looking at when we were doing the reading. Sorry. Um, so, I felt like it would match this case, which that is his middle name. So when, one thing that did also keep coming back in Molly's was red lipstick and nail polish. Uh, I can see in a picture or a few where she's wearing red lipstick. Savannah is. So I think that is what another thing that they were trying to convey. And then also back in Kenny's reading real quick, I want to talk about I got a red barn. And there is a red barn in the house where Savannah was fine, actually, over on the other side of the fence. I also got in Kenny's a building on a property where tools and and uh, hanging like hose and shovels got tall grass at this house and it was towards the back of the property I don't know if there are wind chimes there but there it was mentioned um, in the Kenny reading I'm also wondering um, if there a carpenter is significant insignificant somewhere in here as to where someone works as one or does that type of work 
or it may be symbolic in some way, but um, it kept coming up in Molly's as well. So I know the dad is a preacher, which a lot of church stuff has come up in Cheryl's a lot, uh, an open Bible, a cross, things like that. But um, I don't know. It, it, like I said, the carpenter could fear. I don't know anything about him or his family. So, but I kept going back to... Um, the property in the backyard of that reading in Kenny's, um, I kept getting to the back of the property. So I think that Savannah jumped in that reading for a quick second. Uh, now let's go back and discuss Molly real quick. So there's a part uh, of that time where I had a dream and it was dirt being placed over and I got rose garden. Well, you know how symbolism works. Savannah does have a rose tattoo. And so I'm wondering if the tattoo was a symbol for her Anyways, the reference was her being buried with red lipstick and red nail polish and a barn with a loft and a hay. I don't know if this barn has that and a ladder. So I'm not quite sure if that fits here, but it was very interesting, the, the matches, the fact that she was buried in, in the fact of the red lipstick and the red nail polish um, in the barn outside the fence. So I kept wondering also, red barn has come up in Delphi as well, where his name was mentioned. So in Molly's, I also got a reference to a shovel, which is symbolic of being um, buried. I don't know why I put Mary on here. <laughs> I have to fix that. So in Molly's, there was also a reference to party, beer bottle, and a pill being dropped in, a mention of a blonde girl, and a mention of a black light and a video camera. I think this part matches Savannah. There was a mention of a dirt road and the letter P. I kept getting red lipstick in Molly. Again, that's mentioned. Turns out, like I said, saw a picture of her wearing bright red lipstick. P kept coming in in the reading with Molly as well. And then Molly's, a blonde woman, kept coming into play. So in Molly's, there was talks about soaps and ra soap and rags and things being wiped down. A man sitting in the corner with his, I remember this, with his hands on his head, being like, I didn't mean to lose it. I kept, um, I kept saying I think it's cold where there because I kept seeing snow-capped mountains. But when you think of snow, you think of ice. And I remember there was a part um, where I was... I uncovered a body and they were ice or whatever. I don't, it was a very weird dream. We can go back and listen to it. Anyway, so that can be um, symbolic as it reminds me of being in ice. So it is possible that's what she's trying to say. Uh, I heard in the dream running water and her came carrying her and it was a darker featured man. So that's where I also think Savannah had come in. For Molly's, uh, I think that fits is the anger got the best of him and then her puts her arms across her chest and shivers and shows me flowers losing petals. So as a symbolic of being cold, ice possibly, flowers losing petals as in dying and arms across chest is uh, buried or symbolic of uh, being buried because that's what I think of when burial is the arms across the chest. Uh, in Cheryl, there's a mention of a swimming pool multiple times. Even got that in a, um, in a reading recently that I did. I just I had not made that reading public because it was done with family, but there is one in the backyard. Um, four was mentioned. She has four kids. Also the number seven, so possibly July. Uh, so now we go into Savannah's readings. Uh, also, you know, the January 4th, I guess. Remember, multiple meetings. So they did drink at a bar or pub. Downtown is what I got. Um, saw two men with her, and that was confirmed. There was two plus men at the time. Brown hair on the darker side, uh, and I remember it was kind of short, almost shaven. Um, talk about taking advantage of her, which I bet did happen. There was drinking, a uh, big dad influence in his life. Sparks dad as a preacher seems to be a bigger influence, or was at one time. The connection to be more upper class because of the standing in the community, probably. So P came in multiple times in her reading and in Molly's, so I think that's because of the name of the street Perkins and possible preacher, but also Price. There's lots of P's in here. Now I see what was mentioned multiple times. Um, but I think uh, also church stuff and Cheryl possibly for re this reason. Lots of church things were mentioned there. And at one time we had, like I said, a cross, an open Bible, a church, multiple things. Um, and some of the, so the, some of the readings for Cheryl I didn't put out here just because I don't want her being moved. So um, back to the parking lot. Um, the back of the parking lot, I believe, was validated. Let's see. Darker car. He does have a darker car. Letter A. Middle name Allen. Talked about that. Again, um, heading out of town because the house is in the outskirts. Word bros. So he does have a blood brother, but his friends could also be considered bros. 
So the area described as being Camp Nelson. Uh, they could have stopped the party there, or it could be because he did live there at one time. You do pass it on the way. I uh, got a reference to drunker being roofied. Uh, color white could be because you pass white oak. Uh, both houses are white, his and his dad's. Or it could even be if she was in a freezer, possibly white. Um, possible college and sports connection, I think, was validated uh, for sure. I, I can't remember. Um, law could be because he's going to get caught. Uh, historical, the air where or the area where the bar is is actually historical. Uh, she may have been kept showing me water because freezer is just frozen water. It's, it's the only thing I could think of. Um, I mean, we don't know that for sure, but she's. I mean, all of a sudden, just smelling, it doesn't, kind of doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Uh, I saw a falling tree. I kept thinking maybe she was trying to say fall. I don't know, makes, in a symbolic way, but there was colored leaves in Cheryl. It would make me think of fall. I don't know, because um, a fallen tree, part of fallic, I'm not sure, and I'm not trying to push it, but um, spirit's very symbolic, <laughs> and I'm learning that it, sometimes it means those kind of things. So the reference to P and the R together could be preacher, but also I figured out a different reason for this in a minute. So red, uh, possibly the reddish barn. Also, it looks like, oh, I'll get down to that, I guess, in a minute because I did put it down here. So blue and handicap parking, wondering if this is actually by his house or at the church. I was shown an arrest, an orange jumpsuit and cuff, which is my symbolism for arrest, but he was also wearing orange. Um, I mean, you know, they put orange on him wherever he's in prison at. Got the month of July, which is when he was arrested, when she was found, and his birthday. So, uh, but it makes me wonder the month of July and October together. Now, July is the 10th month. I was trying to say July 10th. I don't know. Maybe not. That's kind of pushing it. But also, Twilight and her connected here. Now, big thing in Twilight's case is her number 10 jersey. And so I'm wondering if maybe that's why it interconnected. Um, as to his birthday, the day he was arrested. So nine, I got, that was the day she was found. But his, his house is also about nine minutes from his dad's. Uh, the 12th, something around court or something with the case happened around that day. Um, six, she was found six months later. Cemetery came up in Cheryl. Also has mentioned a church. He does live across from a cemetery. Second reading, J, his brother's name is Jason, uh, six is six months, seven, July, but also on the dad's address or where she was found has a seven in it, so three, one, seven, eight, also got a three and seven. So this is interesting because we were looking back over and we were like, oh crap, she gave us directions and we didn't even see it. Um, four and seven came in, but then I said, but sounded like 47. So the bar to his house is 47 minutes. Then 27 came in right after 47. You go along Route 27 for 47 minutes. Then after that, I feel like such an idiot. They said, she said P and R. So Price and Richmond. Richmond um, is a cross street of Price. So basically she gave directions, face palming that. Don't know how we missed that. Um, so it's also 27 is the road down from the dad's house. It's called Stanford, which makes me kind of wonder about the college stuff. Um, so like I said, PNR came in together, came in twice together. So white guy, skinny, taller, brown hair, darker side, can be lighter sometimes. It's described David. Leader, psychopath, psychopath most definitely. Connected by blood. He does have a brother. We don't know if anybody else is involved or if he might be just covering. We don't know that for sure. We don't know if we'll ever know that. So got a connection. Um... With, I mean, it it may have come in for that reason, but we don't, we won't, maybe never know to be able to validate is what I mean. Um, got a connection to a house with a fence around it. This describes the house. Uh, letter P again. The house is on Perkins. Also, his house is on Price. Uh, hideaway. He did have her hidden away. Uh, there's blood in her clo his closet. Cave. Uh, basically dark. Um, but also, Cave Springs is right by his house. On price, that eight number eight. His address is one one eight. Uh, drinking at second location more than likely. So I did get a uh, blank space. House is blank space. If you look at the area, the houses are spread out like this. It's spread out among nature. Um, this is how it is. Let's see. Rap music. A rapper came out with a song about her. So that's probably what that validates as. 
creek bed, you do pass one on the way. Jay, again, the brother's name, I think. Um, so a group of men, there was a group of men out. Wolves, predators, a predator. Alcohol, drinking. Uh, song, I never promised you a rose garden. Trying to think of this. Now, she did have a rose tattoo. Um, you do dig for a garden. I don't know. I, I didn't look up the words I was going to, and I forgot. So, moon may be symbolic of night. Three also was the last time she was heard of. Three came in a couple times. Dog sniffing or hat sniff. I guess they had been at this property before. January, she went missing January 4th. Both of those came in. December, I believe she had her babies. Um, guns, we don't know how she passed. This could be something connected to that or the fact that he just has guns. Uh, four came in multiple times in Molly and also hers and also Cheryl. So she went missing on January 4th. Also, if you guys look at the zip code, it's 40444. Um, there's four all around this case. She has four kids. It's, it's, it's crazy. So the shoe and the purse at the RV park, I'm wondering, I don't know. Um, could be someone else. So letter P, knew it was important. See, it kept repeating in this reading. So Price and Perkins. Um, cross and coffin reminded me of a, a church and what's done there, like um, funerals and services, but uh, also his house, like I said, is across from the Chit Cemetery and around many churches. Uh, talked about not losing weight after her getting it with her kid. She hadn't lost it yet. Uh, some of these months may be months of her kid's birthdays. I, I don't know clue what they were, so green trees and bushes around. Uh, yes, bluegrass music. There is bluegrass place close, but I think also the Kentucky feel. There's an interconnect mill from McKenzie, uh, where he lived on Price's close to Mill Street. Heights, he lived near, near Herring Heights. Heights came in Cheryl. Uh, Buckeye is close to where he lived. Like Buckeye first came in in Delphi, but I believe um, I mentioned it in one of her readings as well because I thought it fit here. It is uh, the next street over from him. Davis also in Molly's got David and Davis from... Um, but Malia's reading, there is a Davis Avenue by his house. So it's interesting, um, Fire Pit came in in Savannah, so I'm wondering if that was for Mackenzie and they interconnected. Uh, his middle name is Alan, A, I got. L, it's off Lancaster Road. Burgundy is the color of her skirt, but also his neighbors have burgundy on their house and seems to be burgundy all over the place with the cars and stuff, according to um, what, whatever it's called, uh, Google Map, Google, Google Earth. So she did describe the house um, that she was found out, but also make me wonder about the white house that I got in McKenzie. Um, so uh, red came in multiple times. His roof is red in the house that he lived in. Uh, pages came up in hers. Also reminds me of the McKenzie reading in the book. I don't know. Um, could have a different meaning. 15's coming a lot. Kept Nelson is about 15 minutes away from his house. So 15 was in McKenzie. Also Riverbanks was here in Savannah's, and today on 715 when I did this, um, they found more evidence in McKenzie's case on the river banks along Jordan River, so there's another validation for McKenzie. So I'm not really sure why I kept getting she was in water, unless at one point she was. I also don't know why Kent Nelson came up as I described. I mean, he used to live there, you could pass by it, but I'm not the only one that got that. So um, I heard that multiple psychics did, and it's not that I watch multiple psychics, because I don't watch any other psychics. People that know me can tell you that. But um, I was told by my group members that, how, that watch other psychics uh, just to see, and they said the other ones picked up the same thing. So um, also, like I said, I need to learn, I guess, not to validate myself. I shouldn't have looked on the same matter of perception syntax to validate myself. Um, I just wanted to see if they got anything the same that I did, and they did, so I kind of just gave up the search, thought I had it, um, but lesson learned, this was months ago, I feel like I'm stronger now, so, like I said, I don't know why she kept showing me in water unless it's symbolic, or as possible about the ice, or there's connection to her passing in that way, or there could also be someone at that spot, knowing how my readings work, it could interconnect, it could be someone that's similar looking to her, or there's something like that. Um, but she did give directions. She described his house and she described the dad's house. She gave enough that if we would have realized, I don't know, if I would have looked at it more, I guess, or tried to break it down more. So this is always learning experience on um, how to fit the puzzle pieces. 
My heart and prayers go out to her family and her friends, especially her kids. Um, their mom will always love and watch over them. So if anyone gets any more uh, validation, please let me know. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I have a few other videos I'm trying to get out. Just be patient. I'll get it done. Got a lot going on. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.